Okay, some words about hemoglobin electrophoresis. We will see first microcytic anemia. The second step will the second step will go to the hemoglobin A2, which is basically to delta. Here you will see hemoglobin A2 increase. That's mean thalassemia. Put in your mind. Whenever you will see hemoglobin A2 increase, that's mean thalassemia. Now the second step you need to know which kind of which type of thalassemia. So the second step will go to the hemoglobin A, which is basically to alpha. And here you will see one of the two features. If you will see hemoglobin A0, that's mean you don't have to alpha or to alpha equal zero. That's mean hemoglobin A equal zero. Okay, the second, the third step, you will go to hemoglobin F, and when you will, here you will see him an increase in hemoglobin F, mean increase gamma, okay, an increase gamma. So now you will tell me, hemoglobin F increase, hemoglobin A zero, and hemoglobin A two increase, that's mean A2 increase and F increase and hemoglobin A0, this will lead to the thalassemia major. Okay. On the other hand, when you will go to right side, you will see here hemoglobin A means to alpha decrease about 93%. Okay. Regarding hemoglobin F, you will see hemoglobin F, which is to gamma increase, but sure it is not an increase as this, but it's an increase. So as a result, you will see hemoglobin F increase, hemoglobin A decrease, hemoglobin A to increase, so this is increase, hemoglobin A decrease, and hemoglobin F increase, you will, you will call this pattern as thalassemia minor. Now I will ask you, what if you will have a hemoglobin A2 increase, that's mean thalassemia. If you will have hemoglobin A decrease, that's mean thalassemia minor. If you will not see hemoglobin A in hemoglobin electrophoresis, that's thalassemia major. If you will have hemoglobin F increase, that's mean either major or minor, depending on other constituent of hemoglobin A. Okay. Okay, finally, when you will see a lot of hemoglobin S increase in the blood. Okay. Now the second step you need to know this is this is sickle cell disease or just or just sickle. First, when you will see hemoglobin S in the blood, this is sickle. Okay. Now the second step you need to know hemoglobin A. If you will see hemoglobin A0, that's mean to alpha 0, that's mean hemoglobin A0, okay, you will, and in the blood film you will see normocytic anemia, okay, anemia, we will call this as sickle cell disease. On the other hand, hemoglobin A decrease hemoglobin a sorry hemoglobin a decrease it is not zero and on the blood film and um, you will not see no anemia in the patients we call this as how about the symptoms hematuria maybe we call this as sickle cell triad and the symptoms hematuria and urine urinary concentration defect. We will talk about this later.